Hello world, welcome to the first ever Sutler Ventures video piece, the creation of our YouTube channel, the start of all this great content that we're looking to put out over the coming months and years to educate and to connect the IOST community. If you guys didn't know, Sutler Ventures is currently the number one United States based IOST node candidate. I'm Q, you guys might know me from that DAP guy videos where I review DAPs from all the different protocols, but today I'm coming to you as a team member of Sutler Ventures. So our first ever video is actually going to be a voting tutorial. I know that's been a constant question in our Telegram group. How do I do it? Where do I go? What do I do? So hopefully in this video, uh, I explain all of the things that you are having trouble with, maybe that you didn't know. If you have any further questions, please visit us at our telegram, t.me slash Sutler Ventures. You can go to our Twitter, at Sutler Ventures, or you can even go to our website, sutlerventures.com. There you'll find everything you need to know. You'll be able to connect with us. We're very active. We want to hear from you guys. So without further ado, here is the first ever video from Sutler Ventures. All right, guys, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, I'm going to take you through how to actually vote for the node candidate of your choosing using the BIS wallet. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the actual website. It's going to be iost.bis.com, or you can type it in Google, IOST BIS, and it should take you directly to the voting platform. So the first thing you're going to see when you get into the voting platform is the countdown for early voting uh, that has about 40 days left. It looks like we'll get into why that's important here in a second and also the amount of IOST that's been paid out to those early voters. That's 5.3 million IOST up to this point. Uh, the second thing you'll see and probably the more important thing is going to be the candidate voting list. This is going to be the voting list that you're choosing from. Uh, when you're voting for your IOST node candidates. Uh, so you see the candidate names, uh, you see the location, which is fairly spread out geographically. Uh, you see the type, meaning what they actually do. You see some VCs in here, you see some crypto funds, some exchanges, some websites, uh, you know, all the above. Uh, and you can see whether they are elected or not, meaning they have more than 2.1 million votes to their name. And then you can see the percentage of votes to the total votes in the uh, community right now. So that's going to be important. Obviously, you want to do your own research. You want to vote uh, based on, or at least some metrics would be, uh, whether that uh, node candidate is providing you know, benefits to the community. So uh, obviously, do your own research there. There are a lot of reasons you should vote for certain node candidates, uh, that being uh, one of them. So we'll go into how you sign up here. So you're going to go directly to the sign up page. All right, so now that we're on the sign up page, we can enter our email, enter our passwords, and get the invitation code if we have one uh, from a friend that referred us. All right, after registration, you're going to be sent an email. Uh, it's going to contain the verification code. So go ahead, go to your inbox. I believe it's a 60 second countdown. So go to your inbox, make sure that you get the right verification code. You enter it back into this registration tool, and voila, you have your uh, account set up on BIS and now you can start voting. So we're gonna be in our sign-in page. I'm going to sign in here. I'm going to get the sweet Binance authentication here. I am faster than all of you. And now I'm taken to the actual voting uh, tool. So uh, this is the voting dashboard. Uh, obviously you can see the bonus that I have. I haven't staked any to any candidates yet, so I have zero as IOST, and then I have my available IOST to vote. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you don't have any IOST available is going to deposit now. All right, so now we're on our account dashboard. Uh, we can see, you know, obviously the account name, the total balance, the accumulated bonus, my available votes. Uh, obviously the most important part here is going to be this address that you're going to use to deposit IOST into your account. So much like EOS was uh, an ERC20 token before their main at launch, IOST is the same way. So you're going to take this ERC20 address, you're going to input it into whichever withdrawal function you have on Binance or in another wallet, uh, and you're going to actually uh, deposit it into this wallet via that address. Uh, a couple things here, one good thing, one bad. Um, I would say one good thing is this uh, voting procedure that we're going to get into swaps your mainnet tokens for you. So very important. You can get the IOST token, the ERC20, and then when you vote for an actual node candidate, IOST will actually swap those tokens into legitimate 
uh, iOS T tokens for you. So uh, that's a great thing. Uh, the negative thing is they will be locked until March 10th and then I believe seven days afterwards. So as you can view this here, uh, the deposit or the transfer of iOS T to this address are not redeemable until March 10th. IOST will be automatically swapped to the mainnet votes, which will be subject to the mainnet rules and are allowed to be claimed after a seven day lockup. So if I'm reading this correctly, they're not available till March 10th and then they'll be subject to the seven day lockup period, which is uh, the lockup period for anything. So after March 10th, let's say it's April 1st, let's say it's June 15th and I choose to stake IOST tokens, uh, I have to wait seven days to get though not get the rewards but actually get those tokens back so just something to keep in mind uh, when you're voting when you're depositing into this address if you're looking to trade these tokens uh, before the mainnet you don't want to deposit into this address because they will be locked until I believe March 17th all right, the next thing we're gonna do is head on over to the voting dashboard where we're gonna vote for our first IOST node candidate uh, obviously you have the candidate voting list here uh, these are all the nodes that are competing to produce blocks on ios t so i'm going to go down to number eight sutler ventures obviously as a part of sutler ventures i believe we can provide a ton of value to the ios t community uh, if you'd like a detailed description and, and sort of an introduction as to what sutler ventures is who we are kind of how we got here uh, i'm going to link a blog post by our founder mike finch in the description of this video so briefly, two of the reasons why I think Sutler Ventures can provide immediate value to the IOST community is one, we're going to dedicate a portion of our block rewards back into the IOST community, meaning we're going to be funding dApps that we think can provide future value to the ecosystem as a whole. Uh, so the second is going to be through our relationships built working at ICO alert for the past two years We're going to be able to bring in the top investment funds uh, That's going to be bringing in capital to the community and overall it's going to help us as a whole Obviously, that's a super brief description about what we can provide So if you'd like to get more information beyond just that blog post you can go to t.me Slash Sutler Ventures. That's going to be our telegram group. We're all very active You can find all the team members in there any questions you have, anything that you'd like to discuss, even if it's not IOST related, we're always open. So please visit us there, or you can follow us on Twitter at Sutler Ventures. Um, so let's go ahead and I want to show you how easy it is to vote uh, for a node candidate. I'm going to go ahead and go to number eight, Sutler Ventures, vote. I'm going to vote all. So all my 1112. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and Let's see, there's an important notice here. Once tokens are voted, they are not allowed. We've talked about that as well. No longer prompt me. Sure. And I have a successful vote towards Sutler Ventures. Now, once you vote, you're going to be taken to this referral program page. Again, this was just a voting tutorial, so I won't really touch on this referral program. But if you'd like to discuss it more, please come to our Telegram group. I'll have it in the description uh, and we can discuss. All right, guys, so that's our video for today. Uh, please subscribe to this channel for future content that we're putting out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.